Hi, I'm Hayley and welcome to Recipe High Five. Today I'm going to make for you my delicious curry butternut squash soup. I love butternut squash and it's even perfect now that it's uh, coming into season as well. This orange superfood is packed with iron, magnesium and other um, minerals as well. The beautiful orange colour that you get from inside the butternut squash that is a beta carotene, which is an antioxidant that your body converts to vitamin A, which is perfect to boost your immune system, especially in this changing weather that we're getting. Recipe High Five is all about making simple, delicious, and most importantly, healthy meals using just five key ingredients, and I've broken it down into five easy to follow steps. So, to make my delicious and nourishing soup, all you need is five key ingredients, and some store cupboard staples as well. My five ingredients are one medium sized butternut squash, three quarters of a cup of coconut milk, two cloves of garlic, one medium sized brown onion, and tea, two teaspoons of turmeric. My store cupboard staples are simply some salt and pepper, coconut oil, and a cup of stock as well. So let's get started. Step one, you prepare your butternut squash for roasting. To do this, you cut your butternut squash in half lengthways and scoop out the seeds. Now the butternut squash is a really tough vegetable to cut through. So what I do is, I use a sharp knife firstly to cut off the top. And then I line up my knife and use a tea towel for a bit of leverage. And then all you need now is a bit of muscle power to get right through to the very bottom. There you go. You scoop out the seeds. Get all those fabulous seeds out. And that's your butternut squash. Step two, take a baking tray and put your butternut squash in face down and add some water just until it's about an inch high. And then that's you ready for roasting. You put that in the oven at 200 degrees for 30 minutes. So step three is to gently fry off your onions and your garlic. In the pan here already, I've got some cooking oil um, already melted. And we'll just turn the heat up. So add in the onions and the garlic. And to this, I add in the turmeric, two teaspoons, and also a good grind of black pepper as well. And once all that is in, you give it a really good fry off, just to gently soften the onions. And you can see the colors in here are beautiful with the turmeric and it just smells absolutely amazing. The mixture of the garlic and the onions. So you fry that off until it softens. For a couple of minutes. Step four is to add in your cup of stock. Ooh, and also you skip out the flesh of your cooled and roasted butternut squash into here and you can just see all oh, the beautiful colours. I love that orange colour of the butternut squash and once it's roasted it actually scoops out so easily. So that's the one and you just get the other butternut squash just as it's all you set that aside and just give it a mix through And once it's all in there, the next thing to do is 
So put the lid on and just gently simmer it for five minutes. So step five, you turn off the heat and you blitz this until you get a smooth consistency. Now once you've done that, you turn the heat back on, add in your coconut milk, season with salt, and you mix it through gently. Now you can see that coconut milk just mixing through turning this into a fantastic, gorgeous golden colour. So there we have it, recipe high five, curried butternut squash soup. It looks absolutely amazing, the colour is gorgeous, it smells amazing as well. Enjoy!